Welcome back to my channel. This uh, video will be talking about uh, the Helldivers Cape. We're going to go through it and the steps process of sewing it up. Uh, hopefully I'll uh, have some patterns up. You know, maybe I've written description of what materials I use. You might be able to find yourself plus uh, other materials I use that's involved in making the cape. I'm going to try to do more of the soft parts for the armor. For the flax vest and then the, um, I don't know what we would call it, like some kind of, it's a, like a short trench jacket, but probably sleeveless, with, I have an idea of like using a, a black military long sleeve uh, shirt that kind of like has, has a pockets on it, but the, um, the front of the shirt is more like a t-shirt material, material, but the sleeves are a little bit thicker, kind of matches the, the game. So I'm going to try and find a fabric that will match that, so it kind of blends in. I have some laying around, but it might not be a perfect match, but it's, it's something. This is a video I'm going to be about making this cape here, it's the process and steps of that. So with that, uh, let's get into it. All right, here we go. Once you get your pattern made, uh, all you want to do is uh, cut out the two fabrics. I got the, um, one fabric is a waffle knit, is a small mat waffle knit. Now the, the back side is more a you know, cotton fabric. And once you get those sewed together, uh, you want to do the edging on her. For the edging, I use half inch extra wide double folded bias tape for the uh, sides. And the for the top and bottom of the cape, I use extra wide double folded seven eighths bias tape. Flip around, flip around, get the other side. Now you go to your sewing machine and sew the bias tape onto the cape. Once you get the sides done, then you go back and get a little wider uh, bias tape for the bottom and the top.
for this cape I use uh, only one packet but I still had enough to do both sides uh, top and bottom and for like the side by the tape I use one packet but if you're about six foot taller you should get like two packets of the uh, bias tapes bias tape to do the extra length so here I'm trying to do the pleats on uh, one inch apart I'm trying to do I do three pleats on one on either side I'll have a picture of it, how it puts a look. Now I'm going to go on to do the logo. I designed it in um, uh, Curl Draw. And I use the Cricut to cut it out. Uh, what I forgot to mention, uh, I use a, try to do a Velcro. So on, uh, to attach it to the cape, the, attach the cape to the armor. This is a weeding. And this, uh, I'm gonna cut it out kind of close on one side. So my um, cutter wasn't, uh, um, the cut board wasn't long enough, so I just did it this way. So kind of easier to do or not really easier there's a little more extra step you have to do so I kind of fold the cape in half to get my center and I'm just kind of guess I went down kind of by where would your shoulders would be or like middle of your shoulder blades pretty much and I kind of and I taped it there so I could when I move it from one cutting table to where I need to heat, do the, the heat press back of the heat press here is remove the tape you know I press it down for 15 seconds on the center and either left or right 15 seconds each time At this point, um, I, uh, the heat press was pretty good and everything. Kind of pressed the logo down on the fabric. You know, I took the plastic off. And this next step you don't really have to do is like going back over it. It's only when you notice the vinyl coming up on either on the corners or whatnot. So there it is. It's all pressed in. All right, there's my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.